Glioblastoma is the most common primary parenchymal brain tumor. It can occur in any age, but it usually affects people older than 40 years. Men are slightly more commonly affected than women. It is a very aggressive tumor. The prognosis is uh, poor and the most patients uh, die in less than three years uh, from the primary diagnosis. It is the high-grade tumor with predominantly astrocytic differentiation. The tumor is usually necrotic at least partially, and under the microscope we can see necrotic areas lined by viable tumor tissue. Here we have the necrosis uh, on a higher magnification with a nuclear loss and um, viable tumor here. The border in between the tumor and necrosis is typically associating, associated with the so-called palisading of the cells where the tumor cells are uh, arranged perpendicularly to the border of uh, the necrosis. This is maybe the better example of the palisading with a linear arrangement of the cells around the necrotic area in the center. Apoptotic cells are very common. Those are these hyperchromatic small round uh, structures. And uh, mitotic figures are quite frequent Sometimes we can see microvascular proliferation or vascular thrombosis. Based on the molecular studies, we can recognize the HDH, IDH wild, wild type glioblastoma, which is much more common, and uh, the IDH mutated variant of the glioblastoma. Specific glioblastoma variants include, uh, include gliosarcoma, giant cell variant, or epithelioid variant. So this is necrotic tumor, glioblastoma, with uh, geographic prominent necrotic areas and palisading of the atypical cells with a lot of apoptosis and mitotic figures. Thanks for watching.